welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're here for the first time. I'm so happy to have you. We are going to do a 45 minute Pilates class today. This class will be low impact but challenging and we'll focus on a lot of core work and small precise movements to create stability and build those small muscles in the body. I'm just gonna use one set of weights today. I have three pounds here. You grab whatever you feel comfortable with. And if you want to up level, you could wear ankle weights for this whole class. Just an option if you would like to. All right, let's get started with a stretch. We'll start in a tabletop. So stack your wrists underneath your shoulders, knees underneath your hips. We'll just start by warming the spine. On your next inhale, drop your belly. Lift your tailbone, lift your gaze, cow pose. And then exhale, tuck round, push into the hands, arch the upper back. Again, inhale, cow. And exhale, cat. Couple more like that. You can add in any movements, side to side, front to back, warming up the wrists, the spine, the hips. Connecting your breath to your movement. We'll take one more. Beautiful, come through a neutral table, push into the left hand, lift your right arm to the sky, find a twist, and then thread your right arm underneath. Tap your right shoulder down, and then come down onto the side of the face. Push into the left hand, finding a twist here. We won't be here for super long. Hips stay high. Deep breath in, deep breath out. Next inhale, lift all the way up. Exhale, right hand down. Inhale, left arm to sky. Exhale, left shoulder. Come down to the left side of the face. Push into your right hand to deepen the twist. Big stretch. Breathe in. Breathe out. Use your next breath in to lift. Breath out, left hand goes down. And walk the hands forward, find a puppy pose. Keep your hips high, drop your chest towards the mat, stretching the chest, the side bodies, the arms, maybe the forehead rests. Eventually, maybe the chest will meet the mat. Beautiful, then from here, slide your hands back. Come to stand on the knees, take the hands behind the low back. And then next inhale, start to lift out of the waist. On your exhale, baby back bend. Baby camel, squeeze the shoulder blades together, press the hips forward, stretching the front side of the body. Beautiful, come back through center, plant the hands, tuck the toes and the hips high, downward facing dog. You can pedal it out a few times, shake the head side to side. Notice how the legs are feeling. Beautiful. Then meet in a still place. Walk the hands back to the feet so that you're at the back of the mat. Soft bend in the knees. We'll find a rag doll. You can leave hands on the ground or take opposite elbows. Maybe you interlace the fingers, take them over the head for a shoulder and chest opening. Wherever you are, start to breathe even deeper. Connecting to your body in this moment, knowing that you made the choice, the conscious decision to be on your mat for the next 45 minutes or so. So can you allow yourself to stay present? Beautiful. Next inhale, we're going to roll up. So drop the hands if you have them lifted, sweeping all the way up to stand at the back of the mat and then fold forward. We'll find a couple plank walkouts. So start to walk the hands forward, finding a plank, and then we'll walk it back. Come all the way up to stand, one vertebra at a time, sweep up and fold. Walk it out. Walk it back. You can bend the knees here if your hamstrings feel really tight. Know that you can modify at any time, and that modifying isn't giving up. It's just adjusting to what your body needs in this moment. 
So maybe that's different from normal. Maybe you did a hard workout and you're sore. So instead of pushing through and trying to get to a place that doesn't feel right in this moment, you have options. Beautiful. All right, we're going to add on next time. We're going to step to a malasana. So we'll come forward to our plank. Step your right foot forward, left foot forward. Find a little squat. Hands come to your heart, or they can stay down. And then we'll plant the hands. Step the right foot back, then the left. Walk it back. Come all the way up. Fold. Walk it out. Left side, left, right. Little squat. Hands down. Back, back. So just warming up here. Full body. And you keep your core engaged the whole time. Step, step, squat. Step, step. Continuing to breathe. We're almost there. We'll do one more on each side. Last one. Beautiful. This time we're going to walk it out to a plank and then lower to the belly. Lowering all the way down onto your belly. Take your hands underneath your shoulders. We'll find a rolling cobra. Next inhale, lift, lift, lift. And then exhale, lower. Two more like that. Inhale to lift. Exhale to lower. Last one, lifting. And lowering. Beautiful. Grab your weights. We're going to stay down on our belly. Weights are going to be in the hands, arms by the sides. Then tap the chin, or the forehead rather, onto the mat. We're just going to lift one arm at a time, push into your feet. Right here, it's right arm. Left. Right. Left. So option to gaze forward if that's too much on your neck. Down, up. Lift. You could also grab a black. That would be comfy underneath the forehead. I want you to push into your feet here. We're going to add the upper body. We'll lift it like a cobra. We'll go both arms at the same time. In two. In one right here. Lift. Lift. All right, we're working on our back, our posture. Also getting triceps here. Lift. You could definitely do this with no weights if it's too challenging with the weights. Really push into your feet. Use them to help lift your upper body. My arms are already fatiguing. You've got it. Eight more. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. And we'll keep it lifted. We'll take the weights out to the diagonal, then back in to center. Into one right here, weights out, pull in, out, in, like you're going to a V shape in the arms, out, in, Whew. keep going, out, in, maybe you need to take a break, go ahead and do so at any time, eight more, eight, seven, six, five, four more, four, three, Two, one, back to the beginning. Head can go down. Left arm, right arm. Push into the feet, lift, lift. So now you're back to alternating left and right. So good. We got eight more. Here's eight, six. We go both arms, add the upper body. Next time, 
lift, 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 Woo. so good. Here's eight, seven, six, five. We hold it up, just pulse straight up to the sky. In four, three, two, one, right here. Lift, 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 just four, three, two, one. Drop the weights, Woo. take them forward. Press up to a child's pose briefly to release the lumbar spine. Toes together, knees wide, reach your arms forward. And then slide your palms together, bend at the elbows. Such a good stretch for the triceps, feels good after that. Deep breath in and deep breath out. One more breath here, inhale and exhale. Beautiful, release the fingers, slide the legs through so that you're in a seat. We'll start with a boat Pilates 100 low. Option to grab the weights, you could also do this without them. Step the feet, about hips width to start. We're gonna reach the weights forward. We're gonna take them up overhead and then take them back in line with the shoulders. Lift. Lower, all right, we're warming up the shoulders here. We're gonna warm up the core. Push into your feet to sit up a little bit taller. Here's eight, seven, six, soft bend in the elbows. Four more, here's four. Then we're gonna lift the legs as we take the weights in line with the shoulders. Right here, so we go lift. Tap toes, lift. Tap toes, Woo. core is already feeling that. <laughs> Lift, lower, option to ditch the weights. Eight more, eight, breathe, six, four more, here's four, three. We keep the knees up, find those hundreds right here. Pump the arms, like you're pushing down air Pump, 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 yes. I dropped my weights, I did upper body yesterday, so I'm feeling it. <laughs> pump, pump, we got eight more. Here's eight, seven, six, five. We're gonna keep the arms as is, we're just gonna pull one knee into the chest. At a time, the other leg will go long. We'll start right knee in, right here, so it's in two, out, two, in, two, out, two, in, out, in, out. Option to still have those weights, breathe. Out, in, Woo. you've got it. Belly button to spine. Think about lifting through the crown of the head, pump. Pump, we got eight more, here's eight, seven, six, five, four more, four, three, two, one, lower down, Ooh, awesome job. Turn your fingers towards the edges of the mat, let's press up into a reverse table, lift the hips, drop the head back, feels so good after that one. Deep breath in, deep breath out, let it go. Beautiful, then lower down. We're gonna come up to stand, keep your weights. We'll face the top of the mat, feet about hips width, palms face forward. We're gonna slow squat with a bicep curl. In two, one, we go down for two, up for two. Bend and stand. All right, so these first few, I want you to really feel how this squat is working in your body today. Might be different than normal, depending. Down and up. Your core is engaged, your chest is broad, you're leaning slightly forward when you make your way to that squat. You've got it, eight. 
seven. Can you put more weight into your heels? Six. So good. Five. Four more, we hold low. In four. Three, we'll just curl. Two. One, hold low, just the arms down, up. Extend, bend. Your elbows are by your sides, but they're not resting. Eight more, eight, seven, six, belly button to spine, four more, here's four. Let's add the heels as we curl. We'll lift one at a time, starting right, right here, right, left. Lift, so you're curling as you pull the right heel up. You're extending the arms as you pull the left heel up. You've got it. We got eight more. Eight, seven, six, five. Then we'll keep the left heel up. We'll reach weights forward in two, in one, right here. Left heel up, reach, row, reach, row. Belly button to spine, reach, row. Woo. Reach, row. You got it. Eight more. Eight. Six. We're going to do that same thing. We'll start with the curl, left heel lifted, then switch to the right in four, three, two, one. Right here. Dip. Dip. Curl. So now you're curling while the left heel is up, extending the weights while the right heel is up. Yes, you've got it. Eight more, eight, seven, six, five. Here's four, right heel stays up. We slide the weights back in two, in one right here, right heel up, out, in, wide, center, rotator cuffs, elbows stay by the sides. You're moving the forearms. So you're going from internal or neutral to external rotation. Out and get a little bit lower. All right, we're gonna finish curling both heels up right here. Heels up, curl, down, lift, 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 four more, three, two, one, come all the way to stand. Woo, shake the legs out. Awesome job. All right, we're gonna step the feet into a wide squat. We'll take the hands to the heart. We're just gonna dip to start into one. So we go, dip, dip. All right, spine is straight here. Core is engaged. You're pushing into your heels. You're thinking about opening your knees wide. Yes, you've got it. Dip, dip, thighs are already shaking. Dip, dip. Four more, four. We're gonna keep this dip. We'll go two dips here. Turn to the right leg, two dips and a lunge. Back to center, two dips. Switch sides to the left leg. In two, one, start center, center. Two, right, two, center, two, left, two, center, right, center, left, yes, center, right, center, left, so good, center, right, center, left, all right, we're gonna stay in center. We're gonna tap the knees back in two, one right here, push, push. So you're trying to take them back. Feel your inner thighs working. Yes, tap, tap, whoo, tap, tap. You've got it. Here's eight, seven, six. We're gonna do that same sequence. This time we're gonna punch the opposite arm as we come to the lunge, it'll just be one count to the lunge, 
Follow me. So we'll go down, two, right, down, two, left, down, two, punch, center, punch. All right, so you're pivoting into that lunge shape, punching the weight. So good. Center, punch, center, punch. Really push with that weight. You've got it. Eight more. Eight. Six. Then we hold in center. We tap back. In four. Three. Two, one right here. Tap back. Push, push. Woo, with eyes are on fire. Push, push. Four more. Here's four. Three. We're gonna go back to that first sequence. Pulsing two times in each, starting to the left. In two, in one, right here. So we go center, two, to the left, two. Center, to the right. Center, left. Center, right. Whoo, quads are on fire. Keep breathing. If you need to take a break, go ahead. At any time, we're more than halfway there. You've got this. Right, center, left. Eight more, here's eight. Here's six. So we're gonna hold in center, we'll tap the thighs back in four. Three, two, one. Right here, hold in center, tap, back, back. Push, push, whoo. So a little bit lower, I know you got it. Here's four. We're gonna do that same punch. Two dips in the center, we'll start to the left. Right here, so we dip. Two, punch, dip. Two, punch, dip, punch. Try to explode on that punch. So good. Eight more. Here's eight. Woo. Here's four. Three. We hold in center. Weights overhead right here. Shoulder press. We hold low in the legs. Can you get a little bit lower? You know it's burning. Push. Push, your palms face forward, push. You've got it. Eight more, eight, seven. Then we keep the elbows wide, we pull them together in front of us. In, four, three, two, one. Right here, pull, out, in, out. Oh my goodness. Hello, shoulders, chest. To the little bit lower, I know you got it. In, out, in, out, four more, three, two, one, come all the way to stand, Whew, awesome job, all right, we're going to stay facing the long edge of the mat, step the feet about hips width, soft bend in the knees, we'll do shoulders and a little bit more core, a little bit more legs, I want the thumbs to face out so your palms face forward here. And then push into your right foot, lift your left heel slightly. We're gonna lift the left leg like we're making a snow angel with the arms in the left leg. And we'll take it back down. Right here we go, up for two, and down for two. So we're lifting the leg. Maybe it's in line with the hip, maybe not. Lift, lift, lower, lower. Option to stand on a block here too. That could help you. Lift the leg, down, but really push into your right foot for stability. You've got it. Lift, lift, and lower, lower, up, and down. Also working our obliques a little bit here. Down, soft bend in the elbows the whole time. So good, eight more. Here's eight. Here's six. Then we're gonna keep it lifted. We'll find a little pulse. 
in four, three, two, one. Keep it lifted, pulse the leg up and up. Lift, you're doing a ton of stabilizing on your right leg. Gazing at one point will help your balance. Here's eight, seven, six, five. We're gonna do that same first sequence. We're gonna add a side lunge. Right here, follow me, we go down for two. Lift up for two from here, side lunge over to the left. Then we're gonna lift back up to the shape, lower. Lift, side lunge, weight in the left foot. Lift, yes, down, up, side lunge, hands come to your heart when you make your way to that lunge. Lift, step, lift, and lower. We're almost there with the side, breathe. Lift, and lower. All right, we're gonna hold it in that side lunge right here, just dip, dip. You bring your weight into your left heel. All right, now drop your weights down. We'll fly the arms, hold low. Fly, drop, lift, lower, belly button to spine. Squeeze your shoulder blades, we're here four. Three, two, one, come to stand. The left foot steps in, right heel lifts, same thing. This time, palms are gonna face in, thumbs will face forward. We'll try to tap the backs of the hands overhead. In two, one, right here, we lift for two, and lower for two. Up, up, and down, down. Lift, lower, whoo, this one is so challenging. So many levels. Core work, stabilize your muscles in the left leg, lift, and lower. Give me four more, here's four. And of course the shoulder work. Here's three, whoo. We hold it up next time. Hold it up, little pulse. Lift, lift, small but mighty. We got four more. Here's four. Then we do that same sequence. We add the side lunge. In two, in one. So we go down, lift, side lunge to the right, lift back up to that shape, then lower, lift, side lunge, lift, and lower, breathe. Lunge, lift, lower. All right, next time we hold low in that side lunge, we pulse. Right here, hold the little dips, down, down, dip. All right, this time we'll find a wide row, palms face back, two, one, hold low, palms back, row, drop, Row, drop, squeeze your shoulder blades together. Down, up, we're here four. Three, two, last one. And then come all the way up to stand. Whoo, awesome job. All right, drop your weights. We'll use them for one more booty sequence. But right now let's do obliques. We're gonna lay on our side all the way down flat. Stack your hips. So left hip on top of right, you're laying on your right side. Left hand can be down, or it can be behind the head. We're just gonna lift, push into the right hand, right here. So we lift up, lower down, lift up, lower down. So left hand in front will help you to lift a little bit. If it's behind the head, a little bit more challenging for the obliques, push and lower, lift, and lower. Really squeeze your left side, so good. Give me eight more, eight. My shoulders feel toast from that last sequence. 
four more. Here's four. We're going to add the arm and the leg. We're going to take the arm overhead, connect it to the left foot. In two. In one. So left arm goes overhead. Lift tap. Lower. Lift tap. And lower. So good. Crunch. Extend. Lift. And lower. Breathe. You're pushing into your right leg. It's your stability on the ground. Try to stay on your sideline, especially when you lift. It's tempting to roll onto your back a bit. Lift. And lower. Four more. Here's four. Then we keep it lifted. We reach up to the toes. In two. In one. Right here. Little lift. Little reach. Push. Push into your right arm to help you lift. Try to stack your left hip. Lift. Yes. Lift. All right. We're going to finish with oblique crunches. So slide your right knee to be bent. We're going to lower down, hands behind the head, into one right here. Left leg stays up. We're going to reach it long as our head is down, and then pull the knee into the chest, little crunch. Extend, pull, extend, pull, squeezing left obliques out and in. So good. Four more. Here's four. Then we switch sides. Three, two, one. Right here. Push yourself up to a seat. Slide the feet around. Lay down on your left side. Right hand can be in front of you. We just lift right here. Lift. Lower. Down. Squeeze. All right, now focus on right side. Lift. Option to be here as well. Lift. A little bit more challenging. Lift. Really squeeze. Right obliques. Can you stack your right hip on top of your left? Legs are strong and active. Here's eight. Seven. Six. Five, then we add that arm and leg. In four, three, two, one. This time, reach it long, lift up. Reach it long, lift up. All right, again, try to stay on your left side this time. Right hip stays stacked ish as much as you can. Inevitably, you're going to roll onto your back a little bit. But we want to keep the obliques in the work. All right, we keep it lifted. Reach for the toes in two. One right here, a little reach, reach, reach. Woo! Reach, reach, reach. All right, we're going to make our way to that oblique crunch. So bend the left knee in. We lay back right here, hands behind the head. Lower the leg long. Pull the knee into the chest crunch. Extend. Pull, extend, pull. Whew. Think about chest to sky. Your right hip is still stacked on top of your left. Crunch, crunch. We're almost there. Crunch. Four more. Four, three, two, and one. Lower down. Whoo, awesome job. All right, grab your weight, stay on your back, or roll onto your back. We're gonna take some frog thrusts. So feet together, knees wide. We'll get booty and inner thighs. If this is too much for your knees or your hips, I want you to just step your feet closer together than you would in a normal bridge. And if that still hurts, just take a normal bridge. We're gonna push the feet together. It's like Supta Baddha Karasana. As we lift the hips, weights on our hip creases. Right here, hips up for two and down for two. We lift, lift, and lower, lower. Really squeeze your glutes. Down, up, yes. So good. Lift, squeeze, 
lower, lower, up, down, lift, lower, hello booty. Your weights are just there for extra resistance, for extra challenge for your glutes. Option to ditch them if they're not working for you. Lower and lift. We got four more. Here's four. And we keep it lifted. We find a little pulse. Into one right here. A little lift up. Lift up. Feel your inner thighs working so much here. Lift, lift, lift. So good. Lift, lift. Lift lift. We got eight more. Here's eight, seven, six, five. Here's four, three. Then we're going to lower down. We're going to reset the feet to wider than hips width. Right here. Hips down. Set the feet wide. Maybe they're off of your mat. Same thing. Hips up, hips down. But now we're in a wider stance. Still working inner thighs, still working booty, now working hamstring a little bit more. Lift, lower, push, push, Whew. push, push, four more, four. When we keep the hips up, we lower and lift the heels, same time. Into one right here, hips up, heels up, heels down, heels lift. Lower, feel your hamstring, mine is shaking. Down, up, belly button to spine. Lower, lift, you've got it. Eight more, eight. Seven, squeeze your booty, six. Five, here's four, we pulse. Heels stay up in three, two, one. Right here, heels up, just pulse. Lift, pulse, whoo, lift, lift, squeeze, squeeze. A little higher, a little smaller, lift. We have four, three, two, and one. Lower down, whoo, drop those weights. We're gonna finish with core. We'll take the hands behind the head. Legs straight up to the sky. Oh, my hamstrings are tight. We crunch up right here. Lift, lower. All right. Point or flex your feet, whatever feels better in your body. As long as your legs are active and engaged. Pull your belly button to your spine. Head is heavy, pushing into your hands. Here's eight, seven, six, Five, then we're gonna keep the shoulders lifted. We're gonna scissor kick the legs. Keep the upper body still. Into one right here. Upper body still. Left leg goes long. Switch, switch. Left, right. Kick, kick. Whoo. Right, left. Eight more. Here's eight. Seven. Six, we're gonna add on to this. We'll pause when we switch, and then we'll lower that leg down so that we're in a hollow hold. Take it back up. We'll start with the right. Into one right leg is up, left leg is long. Then we take the right leg down to a hover, lift it back up, then switch left leg. Take it down, lift, switch. Down, up, switch, down, up, switch. So hard. Keep breathing. Kick. Kick. Last one. Let's go back to the beginning. Down, up. Oh my goodness, that is so hard. Transverse core is on fire. Lift. Lift, belly button to spine. Head is heavy. We got eight more. Here's eight. Here's six. Then we keep it lifted, scissor kick, in four, three, two, one. Right here, so right leg goes down. 
then left, right, left. Woo, you've got it. Here's eight, seven, six, and we do that same sequence. We'll start with the left leg in four, three, two, one. Right here, left leg down, lift, switch, right, switch, left, switch, right, switch, breathe. Eight more, we're done. Four, three, two, and one. We are done. Ooh. Oh my God, that's one of the hardest core sequences. All right, knees into your chest. Rock side to side. Deep breath in. And long breath out. Again, fill all the way up. Let it go. Last one, big breath in. And long breath out. Beautiful, let's go to happy baby from here. Knees wide, soles of the feet to the sky. You can rock side to side, front to back. Let the shoulders be heavy. Flex the feet. And think about drawing the knees towards the floor. Maybe you straighten one leg at a time and that feels good. Beautiful, eventually coming to stillness, releasing the knees into the chest, and then take them over to the left. You can cross your right leg under for a deeper twist, gaze to the right. Breathing in, breathing out. One more cycle, breath in, breath out. And then come back through center, switching sides, knees to the right. You can cross your left leg under, reach the left arm out, full body twist, feels so good. Allowing yourself to start to reset here. So when we work out, our body goes into fight or flight mode naturally to protect the body. So it will cause muscles to tense up so that we don't injure ourselves, our ligaments or tendons or muscles. So in this moment, can you remind yourself that you're in a safe place? Allow your body to start to soften. Come back through center. Draw the knees into the chest. Give yourself a big squeeze. And then let's rock up to a seat. You can go a couple times, massaging out the back. Feels good. And we'll make our way to a seat. Step your feet forward. Place your hands back. Soft bend in the elbows. And then cross your right leg over your left for a seated figure four. Option to do this on your back as well, always. From here, drawing the foot closer. We'll deepen the stretch in the right hip. And then again, soft bend in the elbows, squeeze the shoulder blades together. And think about sitting up really straight. That will lengthen the hamstring. Take the tailbone back slightly, think cow tilt. Flexing the toes will keep the knee joint safe. One more breath here. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. At the bottom of the exhale, slide your right leg on top of your left and then shimmy your left leg to your right hip so that we're in Gomukhasana. One knee on top of the other. It could look like this depending on the tightness of your hips but we wanna get that outer hip and glute in this stretch. Reach the arms overhead. Now bend into your left elbow. Take your right hand to it and then draw it towards the center of the body. Option to stay right here, just enjoy this tricep stretch. If you want to add the right arm, reach it up and then down and around, interlacing with your left fingers in between your shoulder blades. Just an option, it's a pretty intense shoulder stretch. 
So if you need to grab a shirt, a towel, a strap in between the hands, go ahead and do so. Take a breath in here, press the head back into the left forearm. On your exhale, you can slowly bow over your legs, deepening the stretch in the hips. And then we'll come back up through center. From here, we'll just find a twist. Take your right knee up, right hand goes behind you, left arm will lift, and then twist one more time to the right. Deep breath in, deep breath out. Inhale to unravel, and then stretch the right leg long. Reach the right fingers towards the right foot, left arm goes by the ear, big side body stretch. Think about growing longer through your left side. Take a deep breath in and a long breath out. Beautiful, come back up through center. We'll just switch sides. So crossing your left leg over, seated figure four, flex the left toes. Soft bend in the elbows behind you and then walking the right foot in. Couple deep breaths here. Letting the shoulders be soft, but also supporting you. You can rock side to side if that feels good. One more deep breath. Beautiful, and then to come out, same thing. We're just gonna slide the left knee on top of the right. Turn towards you so that you can see. Flex the feet. One side will be tighter than the other. This one is my tighter side. Left knee on top, right knee on the bottom. Flex the feet by the sides. Then you can draw them back slightly. We'll reach the arms overhead, bend the right elbow, find that tricep stretch. Pulling the elbow towards the center line of the body, sitting up nice and tall, push your head back into your right arm. Option to stay here or left arm goes down and around to interlace. Fingertips clasping and then lean back. Draw the shoulders down the back. Take a big breath in. On your exhale, fold over your legs. Any amount here, this will look very different in each of our bodies. So being gentle with yourself. Beautiful, let's make our way through center. We'll find that twist. Step your left foot down, left hand goes behind you, right arm will lift, and then twist over to the left. Think about reaching with the crown of the head, and then twisting a little bit deeper. One more breath in. Breath out. And then drawing back through center, slide the left leg long, final stretch. Left arm goes down, right arm by the ear. Big side body stretch, should feel good. Roll your shoulders back. Way more important to keep the chest open than to connect the fingers to the toes. Beautiful, next in breath, come back up and you are done. Awesome job today, I hope you enjoyed this class as always. Thank you so much for being here. Please subscribe if you enjoyed. Give it a comment, a like. Let me know what you'd like to see next. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.